I'm amazed that I would be honored to be called a saint of the Most High, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. When I made the decision to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I was brought into the royal family. And I have rights and privileges that the world didn't have for me, didn't offer. And so for me, being a saint means that I'm a full-time minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And my responsibility as a Christian is to wear him well. And I don't always do that, but my father loves me and he forgives me. I'm his, I'm part of the family. So sainthood for me is responsibility of representing my King, my Lord, my Savior, and sharing with others the beauty of being a part of this family. I would say a saint is someone who God has equipped and someone who is ready to do whatever the next step in life is. Um, whatever the next season may be, whether that's school or new job or just whatever it may be, they're ready and they say, God, I'm going to trust you through this next season. I'm going to just trust that you have a perfect plan. Um, and they just know what he's promised them and that he's equipped them enough to be able to do what they need to do in this next season and to walk with him. I think a saint means to me is to live out my God-given destiny, to relentlessly pursue God, to allow Him to use me, to be a vessel, to love on others, to be peace and joy, and just um, glorify Him in everything that I do. So that when people look at me, they don't see me, they see the God in me. And that that would bring people closer to God and hopefully, you know, spread the Word of God and the love of Christ and just bring people to know Him. So that's what a saint means to me. So saintship to me is kind of like our identity or our birthright. And you know, it's, it's not something that we can earn or ever live up to, but it's something that God gave to us as daughters. And we can, we don't have to, you know, live the way that the rest of the world lives. You know, we're, we're elevated, we're higher because God has allowed us to be holy, even though, you know, we're imperfect. And so we can bring other people into his love. We can fellowship with him. We don't have to be shy. We don't have to be um, ashamed. We don't have to be um, reserved in his presence. We can, you know, just live freely and live fully um, with Jesus. And so it's amazing because we have such a mission, you know, um, to live, live our lives at a higher standard. But at the same time, there's no pressure there. Like we don't have to be perfect, but we are called to be holy. And that's something that um, we can only do with the power of God and with the power of community. And yeah, that's what saintship means to me. To be a saint means that I'm all God's. So because Jesus washed all of my sins, I am now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So because of his blood, I am made free. I am made whole. Every um, thing that I used to operate in, I operate in no longer. I have a different position because of Jesus. I have a new right standing with the Father because of Him, and He calls me a saint and a child of the Most High God. The word saint can have a lot of stigmas attached to it, and for me, initially when I hear the word saint, I think of historical people who've made an impact like Saint Augustine, or I think of perfection or robes and titles. I even think of people who are extraordinarily patient and they're super moms who never lose their cool on their kids or anybody else. They're just always nice all the time. And for me, I can't necessarily relate to all of those things. But if you strip away all of the dictionary definitions about what a saint is, uh, I think you'll find that real saints are authentic people. They're in an honest pursuit of a relationship with God and of wanting to honor Him and reflect His love to the world to those around them. Um, they give grace to people. They're kind. If they are mean to someone by accident, they ask for forgiveness. They also give forgiveness. And um, a saint is an everyday person. They're common people like you and like me. And I think when you strip away the dictionary definition and you can look at sainthood being followers of Christ and treating people with his love, it makes it a lot more relatable. So I hope that after today you'll be able to see that there is a saint in me and there's a saint in you and that's what it means to be a saint.